the clear blue of the western sky comes Sky King. Brought to you by Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. And as we say here in the West, reach partner. Reach for Nabisco. Reach for Nabisco. The bright red seal on the package end means there's mighty good cookies inside, my friend. Yep, that red Nabisco seal is on all your favorite cookies. Creamy chocolatey Oreo cream sandwich. Rich different Swiss cream sandwich. Yummy Fig Newtons. Crispy sweet Nabisco sugar wafers. And many, many others. So just remember, when it comes to cookies... Reach for Nabisco, Nabisco. And now, Sky King. Here's a good spot for a race. Give me a five-yard start to make it even. Penny, Penny, wait! Feel, Penny. Of all the dumb things to do, falling off the horse and hurting my leg. And on the day of the big barn dance, too. Never mind the dance. The main thing is to get you to the hospital where they can check you over. The biggest barn dance of the whole year, and I had to go and do this. that ankle's concerned, it could be a comminuted fracture of the tibia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a hairline fracture, Penny. Mm. However, I can't tell that we take x-rays. X-rays? How long will that take? Oh, we'll put you up for at least one night, young lady. I suppose it's 110 or something. It's normal. I don't know why you feel so sorry for yourself. You'd feel sorry, too. Here I was all set for the biggest barn dance of the whole year, and now this has to happen. It's not so bad. Mild concussion and a sprained ankle. How long do I have to stay here? Oh, well, that's up to Dr. Waters. Don't you like our hospital? Ooh, I want to go home. I don't see why everything has to happen to me. Young lady, you don't know how lucky you are. I'm sorry. How would you like to meet one of our patients? Well, how can I visit anyone when I have to stay here in bed? Oh, Dr. Waters said you can be up in a wheelchair if you like. I can? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. I'll get you one. This is our favorite patient, Mary Swanson. Hi. Hello, Mary. Penny's a pretty name. Thank you. It's almost as pretty as Cindy. Cindy? Oh, that's right. You've never met Cindy, have you? She's nice. Here she is. Do you want to hold her? She's very friendly. She's very pretty, too. Where'd you get her? I had always. My daddy gave her to me. I'm trying to keep her pretty 
So someday when my daddy comes back, he can see her. When's your daddy coming to see you? Soon, I think. And Jin says he's coming any day now. What's your mommy say? And Jin's my mommy now. Oh, Mary's getting tired now. It's time for her nap. Please don't make Penny go. I like her. I'll come back to see you as soon as you've had your nap. All right? All right. Promise? I promise. Sky, come on in. Well, you look a lot more cheerful this morning. Oh, I'm so ashamed of the way I was acting yesterday. Anyone would think I had trouble. And what brought about this sudden change of attitude? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. I remember reading something once. Um, oh, let me see. Uh, Oh, I wept because I had no shoes. And then I met a man who had no feet. What's this all about? Mary Swanson. Mary? Who? She's the little girl down the hall. Oh, she's the sweetest thing. They don't expect her to get well. Well, that's terrible. What's wrong with her? She has some kind of rare disease. Sometimes she's very weak. But she's always so cheerful and everything. I felt like such a, a spoiled brat for complaining about what happened to me. Oh, you didn't complain so much? Oh, yes, I did. Skye told her all about you and about the songbird, and she wants to meet you. Sure. Oh, she'll be thrilled to pieces. Okay, young lady, finish your breakfast, and we'll go call her. What do you got here? Huh? Oh, toast. Mm. Hey, come on. Sky King to meet you. Sky King? Oh, boy. Hi, Mary. Hello. Penny told me all about you and your beautiful airplane. Oh. I'll bet you'd like a ride in it, wouldn't you? You suppose I could sometime? You bet you can, as soon as you get out of the hospital. Can I bring Cindy, too? Sure you can. We could fly you any place in the country. How would you like to fly over the Grand Canyon? You know I'd like to fly more than any place in the whole world. Where is that, honey? To find my daddy. Well, you just get well and we'll see what we can do about that. Miss Guy, it's time for the little game Mary and I play. Sure, Bill. I've got to go now, honey, but I'll be back to see you real soon. Okay, and don't forget about the airplane. I won't forget. You're Mrs. Cummings, aren't you? Yes. Oh, well, I'm Penny King, and this is my uncle, Sky King. I can't tell you how sorry I am, Mrs. Cummings. She's such a fine little girl. She's like my own daughter. Ever since my sister died four years ago, I've been taking care of her. I, I never dreamed anything like this would happen. Take it easy. This is one of the finest hospitals in the state. And they don't come any better than Dr. Waters. I know. I know. It's just that it all seems so hopeless. Uh, Penny, uh, you look like you could use some hot soup or something. What, what do you mean? I just had breakfast. Oh, why don't you and Mrs. Cummings go down to the restaurant? Oh, uh, sure thing. Um, I couldn't. Oh, but if, if I don't have somebody to push me, I can't get there, and I'm awfully hungry. All right. Dr. Shepard, would you please report to X-ray? Oh, uh, Bill. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with the little girl? Well, do you really want to know, Sky? Sure, why? Come into my office. Sit down, Sky. Thanks. Well? Oh, the
the tests show a rare type of disease often found in the tropics. Is there no cure for it? Well, there is and there isn't. You see, sometimes antibiotics work, but in this case, they haven't. In its later stages, the disease attacks the bloodstream and its consequences can be dangerous. And the little girl? I've just taken her blood count again. Sky, it's only a matter of hours until she sinks into a coma. And then? Isn't there anything we can do about it? There may be. Is one chance in a million. Mary's father. What do you mean? Jack Swanson. Mary's father was a mining engineer. You see, his company sent him on a prospecting trip down into South America. Now, he went against the advice of everyone in taking his wife and little child along with him. While down there, he contracted the disease, and his company had him shipped home for treatment. He got over it, but his wife wasn't so lucky. Now, why the little girl didn't come down with it then, no one knows. It evidently lay dormant in her system until now. Well, how can Mary's father help? It's just possible that his blood may contain antibodies that would destroy the disease germs. How? We would take some of his blood and make a serum in which we would inject into Mary's bloodstream. What are you waiting for? Well, it's not that simple. Mary's father's disappeared four years ago. Do you mean to tell me he walked out on his only child? Well, now, don't judge him too harshly now. You see, when his wife died, Jack Swanson went completely to pieces. He blamed himself for what happened. It preyed on his mind so much that I feared that he might crack up. Well, I was right. A short time later, Jack Swanson disappeared and left no trace. And you think his blood would... That may help. But there's one ingredient you won't find in medicine. What's that? It's love, Skye. It's love of a little child. Mary needs her father now more than anything else in the world. Sky, do you know what it's like to possess the knowledge, the years of experience in easing pain and saving lives, and yet have a life slip between your fingers and not be able to do a single thing to stop it? I'm sorry, I must be tired. Doc, how much time do I have? 24 hours, no more. If he's alive, I'll find him. He heard once and just once. We received an insurance policy with the beneficiary changed to Mary. That's all. But it must have been postmarked. Where was it mailed from? I don't remember. It, it was here somewhere. Here it is. It's postmarked Barrow Springs. Barrow Springs? Well, that's about 200 miles from here. Very rugged country. They made a big uranium strike up there. That's just the sort of place a mining engineer might pick out. Do you have a picture of Jack? Yes, right here. What are you going to do? If he's in that section of the country, we've got to find him. There's just one trouble. Even if you do find him, he, he may not come with you. I know. Dr. Waters told me. I know. Cindy. Cindy? Yes, Mary's doll. Her daddy gave it to her. He might recognize that.
Are you sure you haven't seen this man? Can't say as I haven't. Can't say as I haven't. With all these strangers coming and going ever since the big uranium strike, Burrow Springs ain't what it used to be. Well, thanks anyway. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, beg your pardon. Uh, uh, That's all right. Uh, Sam, I just came in to say goodbye. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Where did you get this? Do you know him? Do I know him? <laughs> Why, he was only my partner for three years. <laughs> yeah, I met him right here in Barrow Springs. He was always a sort of a queer duck. Kind of quiet and sad-like. <laughs> but uh, never was a man that old Bailey couldn't get next to. <laughs> I'm the friendly kind. <laughs> I'm sure you are, Mr. Bailey, but what about your partner? Oh, him? Eh, we decided to throw in together. He sure did know his way around when it come to mining. I remember him now. He and Bailey here struck one of the biggest uranium pockets in this part of the country. I sold him my half the claim, but he wouldn't sell. Wouldn't even talk to them. What do you want to know for her? This man, Jack Swanson, has a daughter who's desperately ill. She may have only hours to live. He never said anything to me about a daughter. In fact, I didn't think he had any kin folks at all. Well, he did. Now, can you tell me where I can find him? Well, I can show you right there in that map. Where? Uh, there it is. That's the place. And uh, there's Barrow Springs. How far is that? Oh, about two days by horseback, I'd say. That's too late. I've got to find him today. Oh, there ain't no chance of getting there today, uh, not unless you got an airplane. I have an airplane. Is there any place to land up there? Eh, it ain't likely, and not among all those mountains. Any level place, no matter how small. Well, think. Well, uh, there's a meadow about two miles from his diggings, and... Uh... Thanks. <laughs> your little girl, Mary. Mary? Yes, your daughter, Mary. She's desperately ill. 
You're our only chance to save her. You're lying. You want to steal my claim, Swanson. You've got to believe me. further now. Tower to Songbird. Tower to Songbird. Come in, Songbird. Over. Songbird here. Over. We have a reply to your message, Sky. It's from Penny. Doctor says Mary is sinking fast. Hurry. Over. Thanks. I'll contact you in 20 minutes for landing instructions. Songbird out. less time left than I thought. If they don't get here soon. Uncle Sky! Hello, Jack. Hello, Dr. Waters. Jack. Oh, Jack, I'm so glad. Well, there's no time to lose. You come with me, Jack. Come on. most of the night. What's keeping them so long? Oh, well, we have to give the serum a chance to work, if it will. Well, couldn't we just go inside and look? What harm would that do? I think she's going to be all right.
Tune in again next week. Remember, reach for Nabisco. Partner! Reach for Nabisco. The bright red seal on the package end means there's mighty good cookies inside, my friend.